Don't We've got right. Andrew Bolt still with us. Andrew, your reaction to that? <laughs> I find it astonishing that Chris is still running this thing as, oh, it's the no campaign that's racially divisive as he tries to sell us still, despite the result, a racially divisive proposal. Australians have looked at it and said, this will divide us by race, Chris, and they do not want it. And it's not the no campaign that's being divisive. And you can say, oh, look, there should be bipartisanship. Fine, Chris, why don't you agree with me and at least 55% of Australians on this proposal? Then we will have bipartisanship. Mate, you ran and you Andrew, lost. You Andrew, fought Andrew, the fight and you and, lost. And, and maybe and I just Andrew, point out one more thing Andrew, before, Andrew, you, Andrew, before you go on, Chris. Could I just one get more a word thing, in? One more thing. Just, yeah, well, just one more thing. You've, boy, you had a lot of words on the panel. This is only my second go. Let me just say one more thing and I'll cede the floor to you. This is a fantastic day for fighting the race politics that has driven Western society mad for years now with the Black Lives Matter and all that kind of stuff. You've had actually two elections today. One was this one saying no to racial division and the voice. And the other was just in New Zealand. They're still counting the votes. It looks like the Labor government there will go down in a screaming heap with probably half the support they had, what was it, three years ago. And one of the big factors there, it's race politics. It's race politics. This is a red-letter day for fighting against the race politics that has been splitting not just us and not just New Zealand, but the Western world. Hooray. I just think it's uh, very, very divisive to describe a measure that is designed to bring the nation together and to give Indigenous people a say on their own affairs as racially divisive, especially when the Coalition has had Indigenous advisory bodies and the Coalition promises that it will legislate an Indigenous advisory body. It shows that they don't really believe it's racially divisive. Yeah, but you contradict yourself in the one answer, but you're running through all the arguments that My have been rejected. You know, how can the opposition be against this race, this, this voice when it really has had in its own past lots of Aboriginal voices or advisors? And boy, there have been more than 30 big land councils, 3,000 corporations. There are lots of, of arguments to make against no the voice 70. without calling it I mean, they have it. And when people look at that, Chris, when people look at that, they say this. Wait a minute. If you're already getting all these advisory bodies... And then you say you need a voice. What does the voice have that those well, bodies that you do consult already don't? And the lots of arguments, is There are lots of arguments, It is a Andrew, de facto the voice parliament that, in waiting for an Aboriginal divisive. sovereignty movement. In fact, movement. I know my good friend Anthony Dillon Mate, here. Mate, I don't interrupt you when you're making points. I'd be very glad divisive. if you didn't interrupt me, right? OK? You've had your say. Just sit back for once and listen to the <laughs> arguments that have actually won this referendum. Now, I've just said there are plenty of arguments to be made against a voice that we didn't hear much about without calling it racially divisive. And my good friend Anthony Dillon it here has made this point himself. It's not racially divisive in your view. Is it, Anthony, the voice? Correct. Correct. It's, I see it as ineffective. It, yeah. But yes, no, Look. I don't see it as racially divisive. Yeah, we can agree to disagree. I think it's racially divisive, just like I don't think it was advisory it's either. Divisive. <laughs> it was never going to be advisory. I mean, just like I think the full Uluru was 26 pages, but let's bring that oh, on. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Well, this is the point. Let's bring that's that on. Point. Truth doesn't matter. Peter, thank you. Uh, Andrew Bolt, thank you. We'll talk to you a bit later.